G'day everyone, Matt Elder here at Family Bricks, and in this video we're going to talk about how my video got 32,000 views in 3 hours in YouTube Shorts. We'll talk about fellow small YouTubers who are getting similar results, extending up to well over a million views just through organic reach. We'll talk about what YouTube Shorts is, some technical specifications, and how to create them. We'll look at other creators and their videos that are blown up, and how YouTube Shorts fits into the video media landscape. This video is brought to you by McCatsum Holiday Homes in Margate and Broadstairs. Great for a week's holiday or a weekend escape, being just over an hour east of London, UK. Treat yourself to amazing sunsets, a Lego wall or great food. Visit www.macatsim.com and mention this YouTube video and we'll look after you. Using YouTube Shorts, this video here got 32,000 views in about 3 hours and my subscribers in that time period increased by about 30%. Sure, it was working off a low base to begin with and went from 600 to 800 odd subscribers, but in the context of things, normally to get 200 subscribers like that would take 3 to 6 months and you were able to achieve that in about 3 hours. In terms of my content, it's family friendly, hence the name Family Bricks. I generally do a weekly art live stream which is family friendly, and it's drawing and illustration. We also review tourist attractions such as castles and Legoland, and days out with the kids, and general life hacks for lack of a better term such as how to save money on Amazon and Legoland. The weekly art live streams is generally where I pick a topic in the chat. People will then make suggestions of sketches to do, and I go through and do that in real time. So the video that blew up is just a quick summary of all all those sketches that I did during one of these live streams. Usually the art style videos are the ones in terms of views which perform poorly, usually only getting a couple hundred views. So to get 32,000 eyeballs looking at my artwork is an exponential shift and a massive change in that audience that otherwise wouldn't see it. So what are shorts? Looking at Google's own information about it, it's basically YouTube shorts of vertical videos up to 60 seconds in length. The link to this page I'll include in the description below. And as they say here, there are short form videos on the homepage shorts shelf, which we'll show you in a second, or there is an app which is available, but it's in beta and India only at the moment. So to access it from your phone, you just go into the YouTube mobile app and you'll come into your normal page. And then if you scroll down a little bit, you'll find it's here, the shorts and short videos. So it's got prime real estate and you just click on it. And much like TikTok to actually go and this access different videos, spill. you're just swiping up and going through. And you can see there even some people just importing stuff straight from TikTok. If you're on a web browser and you go to a channel, it's actually gonna be mixed in with the normal videos. So here is the Family Bricks channel, and you can see generally, it's gonna have the bars on either side. So you can sort of see, you know, that's a short, that's a short, that's a regular video, short, 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 uh, another short. Another short, regular video, short, 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 regular videos. And the other way you can generally tell too is they have the hashtag shorts in the title. So in terms of creating them, it's relatively straightforward. Normally with whatever video editing software you've got, when you put your movie in, it would normally come up in this sort of wider screen format, you know, 16.9. But to get the vertical format, so in this case for this editor, you just go from the 16.9 to the 9.16. Depending upon what editor, you're going to have some sort of functionality like that, and it's going to be just the same sort of process. You drag it in, and it's now giving you this vertical format. I have noticed on the phone app, it can sometimes chop the top and the bottom off and crop there. So like normal TV sort of things, having a TV safe area, try not to put any in important text or anything like that or video at the top and bottom of the screens and particularly down the bottom too sometimes you get the description and things as they appear on the video as it's playing and for some reason at this stage the last two seconds of your short will get cut off it seems to be get cut off in the phone app but not so much on the desktop so what this means is that when you're planning it if you have a clip which is 50 seconds long if you left it as 50 seconds you'd lose the last two seconds so the idea then would be just to extend it for that extra two seconds, knowing that's probably going to get cut off. Also like to have a little bit left over at the end, so much like your normal videos on YouTube, it allows you to put two elements on the end screen. So in this case, I've got the subscribe link and also another video that can be recommended afterwards. And you just apply these elements as you would normally in YouTube Studio, and if you try to do more than two, it then tells you you can only have two end screened elements. In terms of uploading a video to Shorts, it's exactly the same process as you would any normal video. You just go to Create, Upload Videos, and then you'll drag your short onto here. The only other additional thing you have to do for your short video to be recognized as a short is in the title, put in hashtag Shorts, and then also to somewhere in the description, put in hashtag Short as well. So just your normal thing of your description, and then here, I've just got here, other hashtag Short videos can be found here. As with your normal videos that you upload to YouTube, you also do have the ability to change the thumbnail. But to be honest, I haven't played around with this too much at this point in time. To me, it just seems like such a lottery to begin with. So what I try to make sure is that when I'm filming it, the first thing that somebody sees is something which is gonna be attention grabbing. 
much like what you saw earlier where you can flick through it really quickly for mine if you can't capture somebody's attention that split second they're just going to swipe past onto the next one so potentially why this video did quite well is the first illustration happened to be of the among us which is quite trending at the moment again i'm just guessing at these sorts of things because there's very little information out there in terms of how the algorithm works and all the rest of it so you go through you do everything you release your video and then what after then, it seems to be up to the algorithm as to what seems to happen. There's a couple of different things, just talking to other fellow YouTubers, and this is more anecdotal, but it seems relatively consistent. It seems like it takes about four to seven days for the algorithm to kind of figure out what it is or pick at it, maybe. So here's that video, and as you can see, literally it came along. On the fourth day, it then shot up. And then what it seems to do is it puts it on the shelf for three hours. And here is the last 48 hours, and you can sort of see here, you know, putting these two together, you basically got it there for about three hours when it went through, had it on the shelf, was displaying it to people, and people were either clicking on it and engaging with it. And that seems to be one common way where it takes off for three hours, and then that's it. It doesn't seem to then get another bump after that for most cases. Now, I had mentioned that this seemed to be a little bit of a lottery in the way that things getting put onto the shelf. Because this video for me, which blew up, was actually my sixth short video. So the first one I did got 300 views, next one 500, next one 600, next one 400, next one 52, then that one blew up, and then I've done another four since. So it does feel to be quite random, and it's one of those things where you're throwing mud at a wall and just trying to see what sticks. So I'll also be using examples of other videos that I've known that have blown up from either friends or colleagues. And I'll include links to their channels and their videos in the description below. So here's one from Solar Brick Builder, who has about 540 subscribers, and we get one to 200 views on a video on average. And then you can sort of see one of the first ones he did got 15,000 views, and it was the same sort of thing. It got that pop for a couple hours, and then that was it. And then since then, you know, it had one with 68 views, another with 46, and this other one has done moderately well. It's got a thousand views, and then most of the others. There's another one here which is getting close to a thousand again. So from what we understand thus far, there seems to be no real rhyme or reason to how this works. Here's someone else I know, London Bridge Bricks, and in this case I've actually sorted their videos from most popular downwards. And actually the five most popular ones are the shorts from recently. And you can see the shorts recently have been doing 8,000, 6,000, 5,000, 4,000, 3,000. And then the first one here is actually their most popular video prior to this, which was about 1,500 views. And they'd average around the five to 700 per video. So somewhat being able to be a bit more consistent with the shorts and getting them to pop, but then still none of them have gone over 10,000 views yet. And then starting to go through and look at some of these themes which might be leading to these sort of pops. You've got two on Sesame Street, two on Star Wars, and one on Super Mario. So it tends to suggest with some of these things it might be based around pop culture type ideas. Again, nothing to really base that on other than observing that it seems to be these sorts of topics and things which do that. Either that or just the group of people that I'm looking at happen to be in that area. Someone else I've been watching is Cafe Corner and her video on this Mario one here which has 1.2 million views. Now this is a bit different from the three hour window one in four to seven days. This one actually didn't seem to take off until about 14 days after being uploaded and then it's pretty consistent from there. So we can go along to this other website here, Social Blade, which goes through and you can basically see YouTubers' stats and things like that in a very summary sort of view. And what it has is the last 14 days. And what you can see from here is 14 days ago, it was more like 16 days. They had about 450 subscribers and about 37,000 views. And then this video really caught on. And you can see that in these numbers in terms of the views that are being added daily. So there you've got 21,000, 38,000. Then we're climbing up to 166,000, dipping down to 140, 89, and then down to 21,000. And then it's starting to climb back up again. And in the same time, you've gone from about 450 subscribers to 2,100. This is number isn't currently up to date. So it's an example of a video which actually has been able to have a quite a long tail and in that same period keep on adding the subscribers in as well. Now the other interesting thing with these is too when the subscribers are being added in there then becomes a certain level of decay within it and you can sort of see them here where they are being added in the numbers each day and then there's a minus 300. And that seems to be the general sort of thing when you're looking at it is, yes, you'll get a lot more subscribers, but then the percentage of those which stick is going to be some fraction of that. And this is the earliest short video that we're aware of actually doing this, because this was actually uploaded on August 10th, and shortly thereafter, it very quickly got to 500,000 views. And at that stage, we're all just scratching our heads, because it's literally just turning this Super Mario on and having a quick little chat about it. And it's so early, it's not even tagged with shorts. 
So obviously the algorithm has somehow picked it up and then it's just gone on from there. But it too has also had a, a long tail as well. And over that time gone from about 2,500 subscribers to about 5,000 odd. So there does seem to be some variation within how these things are handled. And this is a gaming channel, Vortac. And you can see too, he's also had the same sort of thing where he put a video out and then it exploded after about a month's time. And his video has done three quarters of a million views and he's got about 23,000 subscribers. He actually goes through in another video and talks about this, which I put links down below. But basically what he was doing is going through and with that Minecraft video is basically a how-to video, which is a good way on YouTube. You go through, you do a bit of a search. If you can't find what you're looking for in terms of how to do something, then that usually becomes a good idea to go through and actually create a how-to video in that topic area and it can become very niche with a long tail. With our own content being moderately successful at getting content which you consider evergreen and it has this long tail, here I've sorted them in order of most popular. And so you go from 22,000, 14,000, 7,000, and the first 24 videos or so have more than 1,000 views each on them, and that usually happens over a period of time. And that's coming from a low subscriber base when like 200 to 500 subscribers. So generally being able to do that search engine optimization and get out to people who are not necessarily on your subscriber list but then still find the content useful. So this does bring up an interesting wider issue in terms of then how Shorts is going to be positioned relative to TikTok. Is it just a matter of Google just trying to prevent eyes bleeding away from their video service and going on to TikTok? Or is there a bigger plan of how Shorts fits into it? Because I can't just sort of see it just being a TikTok clone purely. As TikTok are there and already doing that marketplace really well. YouTube itself is the second largest search engine after Google and obviously it's owned by Google. So it does have a lot of content which is how to do things and want to consider a bit more amateur and niche within certain topics and that seems to be playing to its strength. Whereas TikTok I'm generally seen as something which is either very humorous or very high school mentality of playing pranks, so there's some creative stuff on there, some singing, some dancing, a lot more lighthearted entertainment. And I've certainly noticed in ourselves, there's probably spent more hours on TikTok than we would care to imagine. And it's also been interesting that it's been one of the few screen times when I actually can get the whole family around to be watching a TikTok video off one device rather than having everybody on their own devices doing their own thing. Generally, we found if you're wanting more produced TV content, you're generally either on something like a Netflix or a Disney Plus. And these days, TV is so far lagging behind, barely even turn it on. So within that sphere of video content, how is YouTube going to position shorts? Is it going to be more of the same sort of content that you find on YouTube at the moment, which is generally searchable and how-tos and guides and those sorts of things or is it going to be more of a skew towards the goofy cranky fun creative sort of things that are currently being associated with TikTok because the current format of 60 seconds or less doesn't lend itself really well to that long form tutorial how to type content it's hard to know where this is going to end up but this is a little bit different than other apps when they try to launch and then get a critical network effect of mass and things like that YouTube already has its content creators and viewers and it's leveraging off that really well. As a content creator, if I'm putting content out and it's going through the normal channels, it's doing okay and things like that. But then if I'm putting it into a short format, it's getting this turbo charge of views and exposure, which you just can't ignore. Even for me, it's worthwhile. I've done nine of these and one took off and by the time you average it out across nine or so, it'd be you know three or 4,000 views, which is quite significant. And at this stage, it doesn't seem to be favoring larger content creators. It's almost like the smaller content creators are on the same level playing field as bigger content creators and they can put incentives there in terms of how it grows your subscriber base. There's still yet to be seen how sticky that space is and what the quality of that is. But to some degree at this stage, it's like somebody's offering you a ride on a rocket ship. You're not going to stand there and argue about what your seat is. You just get in and go for it and see where it leads. And it's still really quite early, where on the other mature platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and those ones, your organic reach, I've even noticed this on Instagram in the last 6 to 12 months, the organic reach is down about 60 70%. So as a smaller content creator who's not paying for ads, how do I get more eyeballs and engagement and grow? And this really does seem like the next logical choice. I think Shorts becomes one type of video in your portfolio of videos. You have videos which are very topical and have a short life, like particularly around news. You then have other evergreen content which just gradually over time is quite useful and accumulates views. For us, we then also have live streaming, so it's a weekly thing, so there's engagement that way. And there's short format Shorts and how that fits into it as well. So I don't think it's an either or proposition. I think it's just something in there which is gonna complement the rest. And it's still quite in the early days. It's like going back to the very beginning of Instagram trying to figure out exactly how that was gonna work. It does seem to be this sort of thing where you're just gonna be in there playing around with it and just trying things out and see what happens. This very much feels like the Wild West at the moment. And who knows how long it's gonna last. It does feel like at the moment in being ultra early adopters. So there's probably a finite window of time to really take advantage of this and get huge organic reach. As you've probably seen from some of the examples we've shown earlier, a lot of these videos don't 
don't have to be super polished high level content it's literally just taking your phone in a vertical format filming and then uploading and maybe the algorithm itself is favoring those type of videos because it knows it's more content which is being filmed natively for this purpose as opposed to getting some existing content putting some black bars on the side and going from there because it wouldn't surprise me if YouTube in the background has something which is scanning through it trying to figure out exactly what's happening on the video and imagery itself and this might present some real challenges for corporates in terms of their social media responding to this as well if I have a bad customer service experience or a product doesn't work or something like that and I upload it as one of these shorts as a small individual it could really get some traction in a very short period of time and by that stage the corporates lost control of the conversation and if that continues to happen, maybe customer service and corporations need to be much, much more responsive. At the moment, it seems to be very much if you're on social media and you make a complaint about something, they just say, here, DM us directly, and you go into the DM, and they shut the conversation down with never dealing with the issue. This potentially could really force companies to have to think about how they're going to deal with that, because very quickly, it can get really out of control. If you found this useful and gotten some value out of it, don't be afraid to hit that thumbs up button and or consider subscribing to the channel. What has been your experience of shorts? Feel free to drop links to any successful shorts you've had down in the comments below. I'd love to see a variety of them. Also, don't be afraid to mention what sort of area that your videos are specializing in. Be curious to see across the spectrum how this is all performing. How long is it taking for your videos to pop in terms of number of days? Is it four to five days instantly, three weeks, a month? Or if your video takes much longer, but then you get that pop and it seems to be quite consistent, be also curious to know about that and how it's affecting your subscribers. Feel free to check out the weekly Art You Say I Draw Live stream where I draw suggestions from the chat. It's every Saturday night, 7 p.m. London time, 2 p.m. New York, and 6 a.m. in Sydney, Australia. Feel free to say that you found us from this video, and don't worry, we don't buy it. Otherwise, you can see the short which got the 33,000 views here, or alternatively, here are some other shorts and videos you might be interested in. That's it from us here at Family Bricks. Until next time when we talk about all things lifestyle.